Here are eight ways to monetize your app and earn passive income while you sleep. So I'm also going to show you uh, my favorite way to monetize and how I earned more than $108,000 and have more than 170,000 uh, users for one of my apps. Okay, let's go. Uh, number one, ads. So this is one of the uh, worst ways uh, that, that you can uh, monetize, honestly. So you can expect anywhere from 0.5 to $40 per thousand uh, views of an ad. And it's honestly best for high usage apps and also for apps that target tier one countries such as United States, uh, Switzerland, or Germany. And it's simple because advertisers will spend more money to reach uh, people in these countries. And that means you as the uh, ad platform where, where you show those ads, you will earn more. Um, and there are different, different ad types, such as like banner or native ad, which uh, earn less or interstitial and rewarded ads that earn more. And let me show you uh, a few examples. So for example, in the Viber uh, Messenger, um, they show uh, banner ads, uh, sorry, the native ads in, inside of uh, like uh, the chat uh, list, but they also show interstitial ads after uh, each call. So that's one way to, to like monetize a free app. And another way is, is actually a game called uh, BeatStar. So you play a game and after you finish uh, like one song, then they show you uh, interstitial ad. And you also have like rewarded ads that you can watch and earn um, earn some stuff in, inside. So that's ads. Then paid ads, uh, sorry, paid app. So paid app is a bit tougher because you need to persuade the users to buy before even like trying the app downloading. And the best category for, for this is uh, productivity or tool apps. And you can charge anywhere from like $1 to $30 uh, or even more. So let me show you what, some examples. Um, there's Procreate, which is probably the most famous um, iPad app uh, for like drawing, sketching, things like that. And, you know, it's a one-time payment. After you pay, you download, and it's like completely, you know, there's no, no, no more charging. So you can use it um, for the rest of your life, and you just pay once. So it's awesome, but uh, you need to be very good uh, at uh, persuading uh, people to, to buy, like, before trying out. So you need uh, a video showcase and uh, some, like, amazing screenshots and, and copy as well. And then there's this uh, giant that's uh, charging $300 um, just to download like big four even trying. And you know, it's a, a tool for video editing and um, it's, uh, <laughs> I guess it's worth it because uh, there are a lot of uh, downloads and ratings. So, you know, yes, you can charge a lot more but uh, you also need to provide a lot more value. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, pay that. And then there's freemium. And this is my favorite way to monetize, by the way. So you put uh, like 10% of your app roughly for, for free. And then the rest of the 90% of the app behind a, a, a paywall. So I have a meditation lessons app and roughly 10% of the lessons are completely free. You can watch, uh, you can read them. And the 90% of the lessons is behind the paywall. So uh, the, the trick with this, uh, monetization strategy is you want your uh, free content to be top notch because uh, that gets people excited, that shows the value, delivers the value, and then they are motivated to to continue um, with the the paid content. And in in my meditation app, uh, I had a competitor that was charging like three dollars one time, and I was char charging five dollars per month. So so you can see the difference. Um, between you know the, the the numbers that that you can generate through the freemium versus just like uh, in-app purchase, uh, and also like when when you have more revenue, you can also provide more more value to the users, right? So I use that revenue to to hire people to to actually write content um, in the app to 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 make it even better. So so it's not just a, for for your profit, but it's also to um, improve the quality of the app. Okay, then uh, oh yeah. And okay, uh, this is the, the app that I was talking about. So, so it's my app, it has uh, 170K users and uh, more than $108,000 uh, in revenue. So it's, uh, you know, text lessons um, in the spirituality uh, space. Okay, then we go into partnerships. So 
you can partner with other companies in your niche and then just provide value to them inside of your app. So you could be showing uh, their ads. You could uh, help users onboard to their platform. You could help them sell, uh, give them leads and so on. So um, it's a good way to monetize because you, you can earn a lot and you can base your uh, revenue around usage, right? So the more people use and the more like ads uh, you show or the leads that you give to the to the, the partner, the more revenue you can generate. Um, but the downside is that uh, this is a business to business um, transaction. So the sales cycle will take months before you get a clear yes. So just keep that in mind. Uh, sales are very, very slow in, in this type of um, partnership. And one example is the Volta Delivery app. So they partner with, with other restaurants, they partner with the shops, they partner even with the uh, people that are delivering. And then they you know, give a, a percent of the revenue to, to them and the, uh, sorry, they give you know, the, the majority to them and they uh, take a percent of, of each um, transaction. So then um, the next one, intersection transaction fee. So Volto, I mean, uses this, um, but yeah, maybe they don't charge a percentage, but uh, like a fixed fee, that doesn't matter. So uh, transaction fee is is more for like FinTech and crypto apps where there are, you know, uh, monetary transactions going on and you deliver those transactions and you just take a percent uh, of, of every transaction. So, um, yeah, that's a great way to monetize because like their transaction fees can be small. So 1% to like 8% and it scales and your revenue scales with usage. So what does that mean? Um, the more people doing transactions inside of your app, the more revenue uh, you get. So you don't need to like provide more value. It's just that, uh, you know, the, the more transaction people do, the, the more uh, money you make. Then donations. So... Not a lot of people donate. Um, are a rough percentage uh, that, that you can like expect uh, to be, you know, a good uh, percentage is 0.5 percent of users to donate, and it's not a very good way to monetize. But it's, you know, if you are a nonprofit, then that's a great way to to cover your costs. And one of the examples is the Lee Chess um, platform. And they cover 100% of their uh, costs uh, just by donation. And the costs are not small, you know, like uh, $400,000 uh, all through donations. And it's, you know, a free uh, chess platform that you can use to, to, to play chess online. Okay, then there's hybrid. And that basically means just uh, combining um, two or more strategy. And the most popular one is ads plus freemium. Um, what that means is for users that are not paying, you are showing ads. And for users that are paying, um, they, they pay uh, a monthly um, subscription. So two good examples are YouTube um, and Spotify. So YouTube uh, you know, shows you ads. And if you pay, then they don't show you ads, but you need to pay every uh, month. Another one is Spotify. They also play ads in between the songs and uh, also put a few features behind the paywall. So in theory, you can use it for free, but uh, honestly, in practice, it, it gets uh, very annoying. And at a certain point, you will um, be upgrading to, to their uh, subscription plan. And then another interesting way to monetize your app is to not care too much about monetization and have a, a strategy to sell the app. So, okay, you can monetize, but uh, you can have a selling strategy uh, in your mind. And uh, you can sell on marketplaces such as Acquire or Flippa. Um, those two are the most popular. And, and I almost sold my mind app for... Uh, if if I knew what I was doing, I, I could uh, could have sold it for two hundred and and forty thousand um, dollars. Unfortunately, I, I didn't uh, understand the sale process and uh, um, multipliers when I was starting uh, like four three three years ago or so. But yeah, that, that's one way to do it on on the acquire platform or on Flippa, um, another great uh, platform. 
and then the the valuation that you can expect so so how much money can you earn so uh first you need to understand your annual recurring revenue so that is uh, you know how, how much uh, money you're you're getting uh, like every year um recurring so if you run a subscription business that's then that's uh, easy to calculate and then you multiply that number by two or three for stable apps and uh, anywhere from like five to to 10x for apps that are growing so if i was uh, selling my app when it was growing that then i could have easily gotten like a 6x multiplier but unfortunately i missed that window and then i tried to sell it when it was uh, like stable and then then i got like 2 2.2 2. um x uh, multiplier so so i decided not not to sell it in the end and that's it those are the six ways to to monetize um that's it for this video so if you liked it, then give it a like uh, and also leave a comment. I will be looking uh, and reading and replying to all of the comments in the video. And one last thing, if you uh, want to get uh, more of these videos, I will be um, dropping one every week. So make sure to subscribe. Thanks.